here at live is uh, Hereford's two goal hero Tom Owen Evans. Uh, what was that like for you out there today? You look to be thoroughly enjoying yourself. Yeah, it's good. Obviously, um, you can see from the performance we created a lot of chances, and I think it could have been more than three in the end. Um, obviously, it's tough for us because we've not played in sort of two and a half, three weeks, whatever it is, and um, they've obviously had games, so it's been obviously it's been slap start as you can see. So um, with fitness and things like that, it's tough, and it's, it was um, quite a boggy pitch. So um, I think that took a bit um, out of the lads' legs, but I thought, thought we covered the conditions well, and obviously got the deserved win in the end. There seem to be a few niggles um, after the Bradford game, and I suppose in a way. It's helped that you've had a bit of a break to, to get everybody fit and firing. Yeah, I mean, um, as, as, as you can see there, we've, we've pretty much got our strongest team out and everyone's fit. People like Lenny are back in now. And, um, you know, it, it makes a massive difference to be able to, for the gaffer to be able to select um, who, who he wants. Quickly taken corner for your, for your opening goal. Have you obviously been working out on that in training? Um, well, obviously, it's a header, so I don't score many headers, and I'm celebrating there. Everyone's like, how, how have you scored a header? And I scored one against Spenny more last year, but I think that hit me, and I just closed my eyes as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, the gaffer like, allows us to, to to express ourselves, and sort of, um, we've got players that can play off the cuff and in situations like that, so it weren't really something we've worked on, but obviously it, it worked, and we scored from it, so I'm, I'm sure everyone's happy. And a lot of football is all about movement, and that's one of your main strengths. Obviously, you've got... You got into a pocket of space inside the box and curled it in for the second goal. Yeah, um, I sort of, rather than sort of attacking the back post, I, obviously I'm not really an out-and-out -out winger. I like drifting inside and finding myself in pockets. And um, I just sort of gambled that the ball was sort of going to drop towards the, the edge of the box. So I sort of, I, rather than attacking the back stick like I did my first, I sort of come inside. And to be fair, the ball's come to Jan and he's he's left me with nothing else to do. Is a perfect set and I've guided it and it's taken a little bit of a deflection away from the keeper. So yeah, I was buzzing with that. I thought Jan Klukowski and Ben Pollock were stand out in centre field today. Definitely, and I think also a special mention to uh, Ryan Lloyd as well in there, them, them three. Obviously, like I said, the, the pitch was tough and they worked tirelessly in there, winning first balls and second balls. And um, yeah, everyone all over the pitch, there's not one person you can say had a bad game today. Everyone worked their, worked their socks off as well. Did you not fancy a hat trick? You came off? I did, yeah. Um, obviously, I had the the left footed shot that hit the side net in, I thought that was in. Um, I just took it quick, I didn't really know where my bearings were, I think Kelsey is a bit angry that I didn't pass to him as well. But um, yeah, it would have been the perfect hatcher as well, right foot, left foot, head. But um, you know, hopefully I can do that later on in the season, so I'm not too disheartened by it. I'm sure the gaffer's pleased with a clean sheet, give credit to the back four. Definitely, I mean 2-0 two, two at half time, the boy, we know that if we keep a clean sheet in the second half then we win the game. Obviously that's, we, didn't, we didn't set up because uh, I don't know if it was the guys of the game, but sort of second half we sort of sat off and allowed them to come into the game. So um, teams are always going to have spells and games, and they did have 10, 15 minutes where we probably sat off too much. But um, but uh, we weathered the storm and, and then and then sort of went back at them, which I think was good. And um, yeah, scored another and, and, and sealed the game. And a bit of a shock to the se season has been Gloucester City at the top of the table, um, but they're coming to Edgware Street now on Tuesday, hopefully. Yeah, um, they drew four four as well, didn't they? I think. What today. a cracking game yeah. we've got in prospect there. Definitely, I mean, there's, a few, there's well, I know Tommy's I respect to him, and he says they've got a decent team together, but, um, I mean, so 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 have we, and I know it's extra, I know there won't be fans there to sort of be the 12th man, but um, we need to make it fortress. Obviously, um, the Bradford game was unfortunate. I think on another day, we at half-time, we can be 3-0 up in the Bradford game. I think it's just it's one of them games we conceded after 30 seconds, and it, it killed our stride a bit, but... Um, yeah, like I said, we need to make if if we want to go places this year, we need to make Edgar Street a sort of a fortress and make sure that we're picking up points there. So we'll go to Tuesday looking to win. Well, your way way performances so far this season have been top notch. Yeah, obviously, you want to ideally win your home games and then pick up points away from home. But um, if we can build on obviously the away performance we've had so far with with guys in um, and Blythe today, then pick up points at home, then then we'll be right up there. Well done today. Thanks Thank very much. much. Cheers.